YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician channel and today I'm gonna start kind of a new video idea um, and that's to help out people that are buying tools or just starting to buy buy tools which is kind of what my channel is about anyways but I'm gonna go over a couple tool rules this one's gonna be over my number one tool rule and that's because me or myself and many others have made this mistake and no matter how careful you are about it and even if you think about it a lot you can still make this mistake I've made it quite a few times and it sucks but it happens to the best of us and that is well let me put it this way this is something you need to think about even before you're thinking about what brand you're gonna get the quality of tool the warranty that comes with the tool uh, where you're gonna purchase it from it comes before any of that and that is determining whether you're gonna use this tool and you if you're really gonna use it it also depends on the price like yeah if it's something cheap and you're like hey I might use it I might not it might not be that big of a deal but if it's more of an expensive tool it could turn around to bite you you could think hey I could use this and I've done this quite a bit I bought the tool and just had it laying around never used it and spent a good amount of money on it which really kind of sucks uh, and right now I've kind of went through my toolbox, cleaned out a lot of my older, cheaper tools and tools that I found that I really don't use, even though they're nice tools um, and all that. It's just not something I really use. So my number one tool rule is really think about whether you're going to use this tool uh, and how much are you going to use it. Is it worth spending $100 on it if you're going to use it you know, once a year? Now, it's different when it comes to specialty, specialty tools and you need it to work on your own personal vehicle, like you can't get the job done without it, or if you're in the automotive field and you can't get the job done without it. But when it comes to normal hand tools, you really need to think about whether or not this tool is really useful. So, as an example, uh, I'm gonna show you something that I'm gonna be selling because, well, I spent a good amount of money on them. Well, kind of. I used a certificate to get them for like $10, but they're originally around $80 to $90 a set. Um, and they're nice, and they could be handy, but I just don't find myself using them. And that is, well, let's say Allens and Torx. Now, I do use them a lot, but the product I'm talking about are T-handles. Now I got these sets, it's the SAE and the metric. Matco STX M8 and STX9. So they run $80 to $90 a set without a discount. I got them for like $10 a set because of the certificate I had. But it still kind of sucks because I got them and they've literally been in my box doing nothing. Haven't used them. They are nice, good quality, but once again, I just don't use them. There's no point and they're just sitting around taking up space. Uh, so what I did, I went through my box and got rid of everything that I don't really use. And some of them are because I use other items in place of them. Instead of using these T-handles, I use bit sockets. Bit sockets are much easier. I have impact grade uh, hex and torques. I have long hex and torques. And I have short, I have a bunch of bit sockets, and that works in 95% of the time, any place uh, where these would work. Plus, I can use it with a ratchet, so it's gonna be a lot faster. Uh, so really, I just don't find myself in the need of these T handles. Also because I have these. So, I mean, these are dirt cheap, you can get these through anybody for much cheaper uh, and they're going to do just fine. But 95% of the time I'm using bit sockets anytime I need an Allen or Torx or triple square or anything like that. So I just wanted to make a real quick video of my number one tool rule. Really think about whether you're going to use the tool. How often are you going to use the tool? And what does the tool cost you? Because if it's not something you use a lot, or you don't, or you think you can get by without, 
uh, and save yourself some money. It'll save you the headache of trying to organize your box because you guys know I'm a big organization guy. Uh, and it'll save you the headache of having to try and sell the things you don't need if you don't buy them in the first place. So that's just my number one rule. Make sure to really think about the items you're about to purchase before you even think about the brands, location of where you're gonna buy it, warranty, quality, all that good stuff. Figure out if you're actually gonna use the tool. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and as always, subscribe if you're not subscribed.